Hello, the purpose of this video is to give an overview of the features of Jira 6.5 and particularly its three different modes to access content, edit mode, contribute mode and studio mode. Let's first have a look at edit mode. When a user logs in as a contributor or an administrator, he can then switch to edit mode through the top menu. Edit mode allows users to create, edit, delete pages or pieces of content. When a user selects a page on the left sitemap, they can then right click on an item inside the page to edit it. A pop-up window allows them to uh, edit the different attributes of each content item. When saving, the pages refreshes and the users can see right away the result of their actions. To create content, uh, users can use the Create Content tab on the left panel and search or select a new content module and drag and drop it right into the page in the location where they want to create the new item. Again, when saving, uh, users can see right away the results of their action. When updating an image or file attribute, uh, the users uh, have access to the document manager where they can easily select the media asset they want to add, associate to their content item. When editing date attributes, a uh, pop-up calendar allows them to easily set the date and time for their content item. Users can also drag and drop content items across the page to move them around and place them uh, wherever they want. It's also possible to switch automatic sorting, automatic ordering of items on or off uh, when editing areas of pages. In addition to editing content items, users can also edit areas by selecting them and right-clicking, selecting the Edit button in the menu. Here we're editing the event area on the event page. Editing an area allows to uh, customize the view of that area. Here we're switching uh, the view on two columns instead of one. Again, right away, the users see the results of their action upon clicking the Save button. When a page has been updated, a red icon appears in the sitemap instead of the default green icon. To publish a page, users must go to the publication menu and request publication of the page or the content item. A, public, a publisher can then switch to the workflow uh, menu and invoke the workflow manager to accept or reject contribution. When accepting a contribution, switching to live view, result is immediately available for end users of the website. Uh, publication status appears on top of the page and shows exactly uh, what areas have been updated uh, or created since the last publication. Users in edit mode can also turn contribute mode on and off in content areas. Here we're turning on contribute mode in the event list on the events page. Users can select what type of actions contributors can do in contribute mode, edit, reorder, delete, and they can also set restrictions on the kind of content they're allowed to create in the different areas. Let's now log in again as a contributor and we're already in contribute mode and we can select the page we want to contribute by just browsing the site as a regular user through the regular menus. 
here we're landing on the events page and we have those additional buttons that appear uh, associated to each content item to add new content you can click the uh, add event button on the bottom of the page and uh, a form appears on the page uh, that allows me to uh, enter the different attributes of my content item the title the start date, the end date through a pop-up calendar and sliders for the time. Close choice attributes appear as a pop-up menu and long texts appear in the WYSIWYG editor. Content can also be edited in contribute mode directly in line inside the page. I can use the move up and down buttons to uh, reorder content manually with the delete button to delete the content item. Once I'm happy with my contribution, I can select it and request publication. Once publication has been requested, the edit button is changed to a lock button. Let's now log in again to contribute mode, but as a publisher or an administrator to accept or reject that contribution. Uh, I can go to the My Tasks uh, manager and the pop-up window allows me to see all pending workflow tasks and accept or reject each of them individually. Once I've accepted them, they're available in live view the changes are available in live view immediately. Let's now see the studio. Here we're browsing the site in live mode and looking at the display of news items. News items are displayed uh, in uh, individual pages uh, in your full screen on the page. Here we're switching to the studio. The studio allows users to create, edit, template, page templates. There's a template for news items in the studio that uh, decides what the display for each news item displayed on the site will be. So here you see that there's just a full page zone for the news item. We're going to change the layout and we're going to customize the skin of that zone so that now news items should appear over a gray background. Let's also add some new functionality to the news pages. Let's make all news items rateable. We have a rating module out of the box in JIA 6.5. We can drag and drop it on the page on top of the news item. And we can associate it to the news item zone. So now my rating area appears on top of my news item. Let's also add uh, some intro text on top of the zone. Just use the simple text module to uh, enter a simple message for my users to encourage them to rate the news item. This text will appear on all pages where a news item is displayed. Let's now deploy this new template by clicking the Deploy Template button. And right away, if we click in the News page and select a news item, switch to Preview, we'll see that the new template is used and I can start rating my news items immediately. This was our Jaya 6.5 overview. Thank you for watching.